In today's session, we're going to continue on the organizational opportunities, stories and lessons learned from the front lines. Today's story comes to us from a manufacturing company. They're a make to order environment. The company was dealing with a lot of production pressures to meet customer demand and the lead time for some of the value streams were extremely long. And when presented with options to focus resources, the company focused on the activity that was based on a cost reduction. And so what was the impact of that decision on company performance when we look at cost reduction mindset versus throughput mindset? So let's talk about this situation in a little bit more detail. So the company had two alternatives. The first alternative was to do a treasure hunt to reduce utility expenses. So the second alternative was to do a Kaizen event focused on the bottleneck operation to improve flow. So what is a treasure hunt? So a treasure hunt's an internal activity that they take internal and external resources and they go throughout the facility and they look where utilities are wasted. So utility waste can include waste of electricity from lights and equipment being left on when it's not used, waste of electricity from the compressor running due to air leaks, waste of natural gas due to heat loss due to poor insulation, either in windows or in walls or doors being left open, and then waste of natural gas due to ineffective use of equipment. So if the equipment is not very efficient in the use of the gas, then those are the things we're looking for. Likewise, to do a Kaizen event to improve flow, we want to look at the bottleneck of the value stream. And what we want to do is focus on improving utilization of the bottleneck by reducing downtime due to changeovers, lost productivity due to stoppages for lunch breaks and shift change, lost productivity due to minor stoppages due to like machine jams or machine breakdowns. So when we look at implementing improvements, we can categorize improvements into two categories, cost reduction initiatives and flow or throughput improvement initiatives. So what are the implications on these approaches from the performance of the company? So let's talk about cost behavior first. So if we look at cost, costs can be classified into different categories. So the most common classifications are fixed costs, variable costs, and mixed costs. So let's talk about fixed and variable because these are the ones that we see most often. So what is fixed cost? So that means that the cost does not change relative to the change in volume of the organization as long as it's within the relevant range. So as the number of units sold increase, the cost doesn't change. Variable cost, on the other hand, is if the increase in units sold increases, the cost usually increases on a linear manner. And so when we analyze the utility expense and we looked at the utilities over a 12 month period, what we found was that it acted like a fixed cost. So regardless of the output, the utility expense barely varied at all. So what are the facts about the company in this situation? So sales revenue was about 55 million annually. The utility expense for the company was about 4% of the revenue cost. So therefore the expense for the utilities was about 2.2 million annually, which represented about $183,000 a month in utility expense. Now, if we look at understanding flow, there's three flows in our organization. Of course, our information flow, our material or value added flow, and our cash flow. So if we look at understanding flow, what we know is the flow of a system is determined by the constraint of the system. So improving the flow of the constraint will improve the performance of the company by the change in throughput, less the change in operating expense. So the facts about the situation was the company was about seven months behind schedule for one of its value streams. So the constraint was internal for that value stream. That value stream represented about 25% of the company revenue. The sales revenue was about 55 million annually. The cost of materials for products in that value stream was about 30% of the selling price. The utilization of the bottleneck resource was measured and it was about 45%. And the overtime expense for the bottleneck was about $60,000 annually. So if we look at the impact of the two alternatives, so first of all, performing the treasure hunt or improving by the Kaizen event. And so what's the level of impact expected? So I said, okay, let's use 25% for both. So what if we could improve 
the treasure hunt utilities by 25%? What if we can improve the utilization by 25%? So the impact on throughput for improving the utility, reducing the utility expenses is of course zero. The improvement on impact of improving the utilization of the constraint is about 2.4 million. If we look at the impact on cost of the treasure hunt, on 25% of the utility expense, that's 549,000 annually. And if we look at the Kaizen event of reducing overtime, typically in half, that's 30,000 in reduction of overtime expense. So then the total impact is 549,000 for the treasure hunt. The total impact for the Kaizen event is the throughput plus the reduction in overtime so we get 2.436 million as a result of performing the Kaizen. So the leverage in this case is improving flow by increasing the utilization of the constraint operation and reducing the overtime cost. So if we look at impact and effort, the effort to get a 25% reduction in utility expense is a major undertaking. So probably 5% is realistic. A 25% increase in throughput on a constraint is almost little effort. So the amount of effort to get these levels of performance is significantly different. So I would expect in reality, the level of expected improvement on the treasure hunt is 5%. I would expect 50% on the Kaizen event. So if you look at that variance, it's even greater than this amount here. So we're talking a variance of $1.9 million. In reality, it's probably double that. When we look at improving company performance, we wanna use flow as a primary means to improve performance. And when we use cost reduction as a primary means, it almost always kills flow. And then when we use flow as a primary means, it almost always reduces cost. So that's our session for today. We wanna to change that mindset from a cost reduction mindset to a flow improvement mindset because of the huge leverage on improving flow. Connect with me on LinkedIn, visit our website, futurestateengineering.com. Go to our YouTube channel on Future State Engineering because we have all sorts of videos on mindset change to improve company performance.